All right, guys, so today I want to talk about the sleeping bag here. It's the uh, Alps Summer Lake 55 Degree. Now, this is a summer sleeping bag. You're not going to want to use this in winter. But with a liner or something, you could use it down to, say, 45 degrees if you had a liner, even 40 degrees. So how this works is it's kind of cool. You have this thinner side, and it's basically just like a sheet. It's very thin, <coughs> but it will provide some uh, warmth on just like a warm summer night. It'll provide the covering and warmth you need. If it's a little colder outside, this bottom isn't just a bottom. This is a thicker side, which is good for the bottom because it provides some padding. But you can just flip it over. You can sleep on the thin sheet and use this as a more of a quilt top for more warmth if it's a little bit colder outside. So this way you have basically two sleeping bags in one. If it's really warm outside, you sleep on the uh, thinner, you sleep with the thinner sheet on top of you. If it's a little cooler outside, you sleep with the uh, thicker sheet on top of you. So how I'll be sleeping in it is with my inertia XL. And I went ahead and tested it. The inertia XL is just a little bit longer than it. It would fit inside, as you can see, but it's just barely. So I might stuff it inside for testing purposes today. I'm just going to put it here, and I'm not going to bother zipping it up right now. Uh, but this does zip up like a normal sleeping bag. Actually, I've got the uh, top by the bottom and the bottom by the top. Not that that really matters, but uh, I do. So we'll flip it around here. Put the inertia XL in it. So when I go camping, this will be basically how I'm sleeping then. Inertia XL will be inside the sleeping bag, and then the sheet will be over me. And like I said, if I need it to be warmer, I can uh, flip them around and use the other side. So the inertia fits in here just fine. And then I would have this uh, zipped up when I'm camping. Right now it's a little floppy and stuff because it's not zipped up. Get my head in the right place. And that's actually very comfortable. The Inertia XL does a lot of the comfort. The sleeping bag is just basically uh, for, you know, covering yourself for uh, warmth. But the bottom pad probably helps a little bit. This uh, quilted pad's a little soft and with this Inertia this feels great for sleeping on. So uh, I wanted to show it. The sleeping bag isn't too much, I don't think. I forget exactly what I paid for it, but I'll put a link uh, in the description. And it does go into its own <coughs> compression sack, which compresses pretty darn small. And it's not too heavy since it is a summer bag. So if you don't need to carry a big, heavy winter bag, this is great for summer months. So I just wanted to show this. Great sleeping bag for, you know, down to 40 degrees. But if you get down to 40 degrees, this is only rated at 55 you want to put a liner in or maybe just bring a fleece blanket and wrap yourself in it first. You know, get yourself a little extra covering if it's going to be under 45, under 55 really. So I wanted to show that. I'm going to get it all put back together now. But uh, that's the Alps Mountaineering 55 degrees summer lake sleeping bag. See you guys later.